Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hope you all are doing extremely well. First of all, if you are new to this channel or haven't subscribed my channel till now, then guys, do consider subscribing my channel. It will really motivate me to create more such content for you. You can follow me on other platforms as well. The link is there in the description itself. So let's get started with our next question in our Need Code 150 DSA question series. So today's problem is find minimum in rotated sorted array. So let's go through the problem statement, then we'll be thinking about the approach, then the coding part for sure. So the problem says, suppose an array of length n sorted in ascending order is rotated between 1 and n times. For example, the array uh, num is 0, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7 might become 4, 5, 6, 7, 0, 1, 2 if it was rotated 4 times. 0, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7 if it was rotated 7 times. Notice that rotating an array A0, A1, A2 up till AN minus 1, one time will result into this particular sequence. So you have been given the sorted rotated array nums of unique elements. Return the minimum element of this array. You must write an algorithm that runs in big O, of, uh, big o log in time. So here's an example given. So um, we have been given an array, first of all nums. As you can see, we are having 3, 4, 5, 1, 2. What we have to do is we have to return the minimum element. So in this case, it is nothing but 1. Then you must be thinking, oh, this is pretty straightforward. Or what we can do is that do a linear search, right? Linearly just go through the elements and, just, and then just find out the minimum element and just return it, right? So uh, one time traversal we have to do uh, for the given array and the time complexity would be big O of n. But here they have given, although the input array is not proper sorted, right? But it is a rotated, rotated sorted array, rotated sorted array. So when they have specified it, it is a rotated sorted array, then for sure they are not, even the interviewer who will give you this problem, they are not expecting this approach i mean just when you're thinking it you are you know then you can mention it for uh, um, maybe but uh, eventually this is not the solution that is being expected from you because anyhow you have to take the advantage of the scenario that it is rotated sorted array and even here they have specified that you have to come up with an algorithm um, that runs in big o log n type right then things are already there I mean, you can think of that, okay, we have to go with the binary search here, right? Because although the array is not sorted, but it is rotated sorted array. I mean, you can get the chunk which is sorted and here we need the minimum element. Uh, I know further discussion is needed for it. So just, just, you know, let's, let's discuss more about it. So here uh, we have taken this test case, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, right? And the minimum element here is 1. So that's what being returned. Now, as I've said that, okay, we are, we'll be going with binary search here. So let's see how it will work. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So low would be uh, 0 and high would be length of array minus 1, which is nothing but so 4, right? So if you will find out the mid, which is going to be 0 plus 4 divided by 2, that is 2. So we are here, right? On 5, we are here. So if, if we are having a sorted array, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So let's say we are on 3. So obviously, if there is sorted array, then the element left to it would be smaller, and the element right to it, right to it would be greater, right? So, uh, pick up. Let's let's pick up this point only. So right now we are on five. So also this is this array was uh, sorted, but it is, it has been rot rotated, right? So it's it it is like that. So here, if you will see, so five, five. 5 it is if it is being compared to the last so to the element which is at the uh, h position so as of now h is 4 so what is the nums of 4 2 so 5 is greater than that of 2 means what means 5 is greater than that of 2 means it is a it is already sorted but rotated array, right it means that uh, we will get our minimum in in the remaining portion which is which is which is right to 5 because the element which was the rightmost, the rightmost element to which h was pointing to, it is smaller than that of our mid. It means 
it means we have to shift our focus the searching focus that we have to do now to find out the minimum one we have to shift our focus from uh, so currently n l was what it was zero so we have to shift the value of l towards towards right side means we have to update the value of l as mid plus 1 why 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 because because this 5 is greater than that of 2 it means the part which is right to it it is having the minimum element right because it is a rotated sorted array means the element c if you will if you will if you will pick up this condition also so you can see here 3 is 3 is smaller than the, uh, smaller than that of 5 it means this part is already you know in in a in a sorted way but to the rightmost when we are comparing it is 5 is greater so the now the thing is clear because we need the minimum element so we will shift our focus towards the right side so we will update the value of ls mid plus 1 right now if that is not the case if that is not the case then how we are going to update if that is not the case so let's say we are having let's take one more example 3 1 right and here the minimum would be what 1 so l is clearly 3 1 2 0 1 2 mid is in this case mid is what 1 it means this part now first condition itself we do have is that nums of mid which is nums of 1 if it is greater than that of nums of nums of nums of high so update the value of low as mid plus 1 which is not the case here so nums of 1 is what 1 and 1 is obviously not greater than that of 2 so we will get into else part so if you will do high as mid minus 1 mid minus 1 right okay so high value you will update as mid minus so mid is what 1 while minus 1 we are doing so it, so high value we are updating as 0 high value we are updating it as 0 so low is also at this point high is also this point right and eventually we are, uh, will be returning this value as the minimum value but do you think that it is the minimum value do you think that it is the minimum value i mean what to think about it minimum value here for this particular case is what 1 it means the mid on which we are currently pointing to itself could be the answer right itself could be the answer so what it is high value instead of making this mid minus 1 because mid can also be answer 2 so high value we have to update it as mid so high value would be mid right so the yeah, that's that's the only thing that's the that's the only catch here so high equal to mid so uh, high like if you are going with this so high would be what one then again um, low value will remain as it is so again we will check so 0 plus 1 divide by 2 you will get uh, 0 right you will get so 1 divide by 2 you will get 0 so we will check so nums Mid value is going to be what zero. So nums of zero is what three. Is three greater than that of one? Is three greater than that of one? Yes. So low value will be updated as mid plus one, which is nothing but zero plus one, which is nothing but one. And at the end, I mean, we have this condition now at the top that low value should be less than that of high, right? So this condition will be um, is going to be false eventually. And then what we are going to do is that um, we are going to return because we have to return the minimum element, not the index. So we are going to return. nums of low right nums of low so nums low is what one so nums of one is going to be one which is our answer right so i hope you have got the approach that how we are going to do this so now the code is pretty straight forward only that you have to do so let's have a look on the code part as well so here you can see we are having low initialized with zero high as nums dot length minus one now till the time low is less than high we will continue in this loop so we are first calculating the mid and then we are checking if nums of mid if it is greater than that of nums of high it means the um, our answer the minimum value will be lying in the right side so we are we are updating the value of low as mid plus 1 otherwise we are updating the value of high as mid and eventually at the end we are returning nums of low right so yeah that's it thank you so much for watching this video guys uh, keep learning keep coding bye bye